Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of What to Eat. Today we're at Cannery Kitchen and Tap in Castro Valley, California, inside the Castro Valley Natural Grocery. So this place uh, reminds me a lot of uh, Whole Foods. Uh, so there's a little brewery inside, along with a kitchen that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So wanted to try this place out. So come watch us try these different types of food. Okay, first on tap, we'll be trying the uh, barbecue brisket sandwich. So it contains. Uh, let's take out this pickle on top first. So it has a brioche bun with uh, barbecue beef brisket and some coleslaw on top. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit messy, but hey, I'm ready. Okay. Cheers. Brisket is nice and juicy, and the barbecue sauce is pretty tangy as well. Barbecue sauce is not super sour. I love the tanginess, the sweetness. It tastes a lot like brown sugar. Mm. The pulse slug gives it a nice crunch at the end. The brioche bun, you can tell it's uh, freshly baked. It can really hold on to the, the beef brisket, even though there's like a lot of sauce on it. So everything binds together real well. Mm. Juicy cuts of meat. And of course, we have to have fries when we have a sandwich. These are uh, Kennebec potatoes. And you can see that there's some garlic fries because uh, we upgraded it. Let's see how it is. It's a very dense potato. Kind of reminds me of uh, In N Out fries, but much bigger. Same fries as In N Out. I don't know where the garlic is hiding, but there is garlic in here. It just needs a little bit more garlic. But it has a nice flavor. Great potatoes, fresh off the hot fryer. Very, very filling, guys. For our last sandwich, we'll be trying the Betty's Down Home Fried Chicken Sandwich. See what it looks like here. This sandwich is humongous. Again, it's a brioche bun with some coleslaw. It looks like it's two fried chicken patties. And it has the Memphis hot honey. I had to request that one. Wow, it looks very crispy. I don't know how I'm gonna start on this, but you know what? I'm gonna cut this in half. It's pretty huge. The hot honey 
he is basically oozing out. Look at the texture, the, the texture, and the hot honey is dripping everything. Cheers. This hot honey is just like an explosion of sweetness. That is an amazing flavor. Mm. It's definitely on the sweet side. I was hoping for some heat. The chicken's a little bit thin, but I love the crispiness and the juiciness of the looks like pie meat. Wow, that is super juicy. You gotta have another bite of that. Mm. Wow, that's definitely something you guys need to try. Hopefully they have a spicy version. But for you that loves uh, hot honey, this is the one. Definitely. Just wanted to give a little recap of our meal. Um, the hot honey chicken was really worth it. The portions were huge. First time I've tried uh, fried chicken with uh, Memphis hot honey and it really clicked. And uh, garlic fries, could have used a little bit of work, it needed more garlic, but uh, the fries were nice and big. Um, yeah, overall I would have to give this restaurant a 7.8. Um, I love the atmosphere in here, it's very chill. There's beer, there's live music on Thursdays from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. So come by and listen to some music when you're here. We have uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. Now that we're done eating, we're gonna look around at uh, the Castro Valley uh, Natural Grocery. So come join us.